sleep with the chocolate wife. <laughs> so if they don't want to, I will Shot drag that up. That's what I'm saying, because she is my type. But you, Tierra, for real, I always spoke highly of you, Tierra. So I ain't trying to put that on your back. I don't want to put that on your back. No, you don't have to be on site with me. You from Detroit, bitch, I'm from Memphis. Well, I know we fight. <laughs> we crazier than a mother, because we real and we feel what we feel. So let's jump right in and start. Amanda L. from Facebook wants to know, Carly, how old are you really? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wants to know how old Carly is. Look, I am beautiful, I'm young, I'm talented. I never tell my age. Okay, so anybody want to take a guess on how old Carly is? <laughs> <laughs> Page a couple days ago. It says 1985. Hey, Michelle, you're the same age as me, so stop it. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. We all know Carly Red. She gets to shouting out stuff because she don't want her truth to be told. The truth of the situation is she marched with Martin Luther King in 1968. But you know, Mimi don't lie about her age. If you were born in 1985, bitch, you was 14 in LA. Well, you look like it don't matter, bitch. You look like Michael Jackson and Thrill. Rashida, you'd heard Kay Michelle tell you the story so many times, and there were points where you empathized with her and understood her story. What was different that time? What made you take a different position? To be honest with you, I've been friends with them for a very long, long time, okay. and I'm very, very close to his wife, you know? And I, I heard both sides of the story. What are your thoughts now on the on the subject, on everything that you've heard from Kay Michelle? You know what? To be honest with you, it ain't got nothing to do with me, but at the end of the day, I don't know if I believe Kay Michelle. Okay. Oh, wow. Thank you. Regardless of anything, for three years, I've been helping women who went through domestic violence. So regardless of how crazy K. Michelle is or how I act, I don't say I act right. I don't always act right. I never have said I was this picture-perfect woman. What I said was, what happened to me is what happened to me. And Rashida, you don't have to believe it, but you sure sat there every episode getting your check. Damn Listening straight. Listening to sure you did. did what it was. You sure cried at everything you with me in my hand. But when the first episode came out and it got tough, you got to run it. Oh, I ain't run. Yes, you did. Oh, no, it got tough. No, I didn't When run. it got tough, the boss left, and we went to oh, Sweet Valley High. Oh, you want to say the boss left? The boss we got to. First of all, this is not Twitter saying her name. Please tell Scarecrow to shut up. You be quiet for something. a minute. Let me say something. Leave. You know what? Because to I be honest with you, no, no, I'm not nah, we can sit I up. I got you. I'm just talking to you. We women. We yeah, we are women. But let me say this. I had to put two and two together and say, huh, something don't make no damn sense. What don't make How I get out a $2 million record deal on okay, everything? They here. didn't let me go. Listen. Like they let you go on yours. They, they didn't, didn't let oh, me go. Oh, bitch, they didn't let me they go. Didn't, they didn't let me they go. Let me I go. had I to left. get out of mine. I, I had let to get out of mine. You're straddling the fence, Rashida. When it got tough, I really? listen to you. Oh, I listen about your listen marriage. Here. I watch you disrespect your husband on I ain't TV. I disrespect my I husband. Let me tell you something. A husband is something you when want, you something got, I have. Okay? I'm Let's keep that clear. I'm ain't wise. nobody gonna marry but no crazy you, but ass you got bitch. You lose them, disrespect them on oh, TV. Oh, I ain't gonna lose. That's all I'm Please saying. Please believe that. Oh, that man you describe cool. you want you is done. that man, my and you not gonna story. get him. It's my story. Yeah, and that's a lie. You get done. Wow, Yeah, wow. You should have came to my bitch. Wow. I didn't want to. Do what you do. Do something with your nappy ass. Bipolar, schizophrenic, insecure done, ass bitch. Bi yeah, ass let me have my. Michelle, 
You gave her a diss record for her birthday present? What did you think the reaction was gonna be? It was just like, okay, you know what? I don't want you to hear it in the streets, so you heard it here first. And where our relationship is, we're good. You guys are good? I'm good. I ain't finna fight with Carly about no diss record because it didn't get played on that one station. <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. Teddy, Kimberly. something happened, no, bitch. but Ray, Ray said the whole sex thing. So this is this is what I want to clear up. You're saying you really did hear this. You heard it from Safari. And and I apologize to my friends... For bringing it up. ...for saying something, because I could have kept on going to her on, on numerous weed jokes. Don't point in your finger, cause I'm the real goon, bitch. <laughs> bitch, I'm not scared of you. You wish to miscarriage on me because you want to get your Elba's baby so bad, baby. I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. Can you be quiet for a second? When you you don't shut the up, bitch. You don't know how to shut the up, bitch. Michelle, please don't keep talking to her. Please, she's seven months pregnant. Can we shut up? Or you're gonna have to leave. See y'all later. I'm gonna let you respond. We're, we're letting right, breathe for a second. Person, we're gonna have her go. I want you to have to scream and yell. Lyrica, please, play, take your opportunity to respond what was being said. All I do know is Safari just spoke his truth on me, and that's all I have to say about it. When it comes to that bitch, she's a fake-ass bitch, and that's that. Lyrica G want to be my friend so bad. She want to fight. She got to defend her daughter, but she want to be my friend. I know this is difficult, so thank you for coming back and talking about this, because your side is important and we want to hear from you. Just, just to add to this, we also have Kimberly, who is going to be joining us backstage. Since tensions have been running a bit high tonight on the reunion. Tierra, let me ask you a question. When you were in London and you were having the conversation and it was revealed that Kimberly was speaking to him on her Instagram live... You see me? Yeah, I see old big head ass, old sex tape leaking ass. Were you threatened by their relationship? Kimberly, I always have seen you out in public and you've always seemed to be cordial. I didn't know it was that serious, Tierra. I don't have no problem with Akbar. Akbar is cool. I'm never gonna be in his team of hoes. I'm not gonna be that. <laughs> team of hoes. No, but I like them too because I want to sleep with the chocolate wife. <laughs> But if, if they did that to you, just know that that is going to come out and they have to the live with that for the rest of their life. Okay. So I know y'all, I'm finna go. I need to get some edibles. But. Uh, <laughs> kumbaya! Going on I also want to talk to because. No, you're a ridiculous mother fighting with a goddamn woman. What are you talking Oh she did that, Shut Tina. You're doing the Tina Turner. Girl, Shut girl. up. Sit your old ass you. down. Sit down. You're you old as hell. You're not I don't even argue you're with people even over for it. Because you're the type of that I send for. I don't want to talk to you. You need a peach. Like you a bitch. I don't care. Why is she over there even standing up? Man, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Shut up, bro. That woman needs to be taken away. No. Get out. You got the females on your side for sure. You got the females on your side. Get him out of here. Let's regroup. Let's regroup. All right, guys. Everybody on the couches, we regroup in here. We're going to regroup. Obviously, Rockstar has left. We're going to let him cool off. AJ, this season, you said that you cried a lot more than you thought you would. When I had Melody. Yes. When, when she yes. had Melody. When she had Melody. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, I... It, Are you more emotional now than your father? I'm not emotional like what happened when the baby was born. This okay. was like a connection that I had that really just changed my whole mind really? on how to move and think and be. Like an epiphany? What I just witnessed and experienced, it shouldn't be no reason why we should look down on women or try to go that hard. Like, it, we got to compromise. It, like, changed your whole perspective. Yeah, man. I mean, wow. We got to get better, but we got to compromise. That's gangster. Why are you That's crying? Gangster. That's you gangster. Got, you really 
crying. That's like a soft spot because next month I finally take these embryos and I decide if I put them in me or I do a surrogate. So yeah, see so that little girl? It gives that you little like girl look like God sketched her. It's like a motivation and an inspiration of something that is really heavy on me right now. That is beautiful, okay. man. Hollywood, the reunion. Now, you guys may have noticed that the stage is a little empty, but that's because we wanted to make things private with Kimberly and Paris and give them space to hash things out one on one. Kimberly arrived in Hollywood ready to put her implant issues behind her, but it was her dealings with Paris that ended up being the real pain in her ass. My name is Kimberly, the artist formerly known as K. Michelle. Sweet, but she got her side. A side you will find out about. Uh oh. We fell out because she told the world that I stole her credit cards. You cannot keep making excuses for what happened. So you didn't it was lose any around. This was almost $300. This is the proof. And this is everything. I saw you soon you get done. I don't want to see I'm tired of you. I'm tired of you, bitch. Go do me like that. You got me. The incident that we just saw with the drink throwing, you tweeted that you were going to be pressing charges. Is that still the case? Yes. Paris, did you know that she was going to be pressing charges? The bitches I know from Memphis, they don't call cops and do stuff like that. You know, I don't know. Well, the bitches I know don't okay. steal. You're yeah, not gonna so, hit me and okay. steal from me okay, and think I'm not gonna press you. charges. Okay. I'm gonna handle you in the proper Oops, way. I, I like I'd have been here with a drink several times. Okay. I'd have had my She's wig She's the queen of doing out. it, though. I ain't never pressed She's charges. She's the queen but of doing thing, it. one thing, I ain't, I ain't no punk. Okay. You do know, Miss Nina, I, was, I just got out of the hospital two days. Everybody and before before that, that scene, just, prior to that, I was 105 pounds. Prior to me doing that scene with her, she was doing the shiggy challenge. So you're saying you were, you were in the hospital and you weren't prepared for a physical altercation. Yeah, I didn't come to she her with that. No but even if it didn't seem like you wanted to get physical. I didn't. For you what? Didn't. Okay. I raised her. For Paris, what? you raised me, sis. I found She's you on joke. Twitter. No, you, she was, was a fan Keisha on Red. Twitter. No, she she never right. worked yeah. for anybody. Right. She never had so a let job. Me, let me, on top of that, I paid every bill. Okay, I paid so let me let her respond. You live with me. Let me let her respond. I could have wrote you off on my taxes. Okay, really, sis? I would have given you the world because I love you. The fact is, when you use Okay. Did you okay. not use the okay. credit card? Can I speak? It's nothing okay. to talk I'ma her, about. I'm going to let her respond. It's All nothing right. to talk about. One at a time. Oh. You used the credit card. I don't got to okay, say. Come she back. Come back. Come back. That's what? Because she, she don't want me to get the She's a victim. Uh, you a hefty ass thief. Um, you got you a thief. Hefty, 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 Kimberly has left. That's what she go do. I hope she, she comes back. She I don't want, want you guys me to, to tell my side of the story. That's why she's getting up and running and yelling. Let's talk about your side. Okay, I know let's you talk about my respond. side. The reason why I threw the drink yeah. and I'm mad at myself for throwing the drink okay. is that she took me there. That was like my best friend. Any other time Kay had surgeries, I was there for her. Ask anybody. I knew her pen number. I knew everything. So if I really wanted to rob her, I could have. You are a fan on Twitter. I've done everything for you. You took my credit card and you used it and you hit me in my face when I was my sickest. I'm done. What we saw on the show is that she got a bill and she said that there were words with fraud written across it. This paper she got right now, this is all new. When me and Kay Michelle got back cool, she should have said, P, it was more than so $50. So she never presented you with? Never, that's what's making me mad. Like, it was $50. Okay. For three years, it's been $50. Okay. So now, let me ask today, you. it's, for the, whatever she got, it's $300 now. Kimberly was up there now. So this is Kay Michelle, because I got to deal with thieving ass, hungry ass bitches. If you needed a hamburger, all you had to do was ask bitch, because I would have bought you the two cheese Burger meal. When you've tried to pay her, what's happened? She don't want, no, it's not It's not about money. She's trying to ruin me, but okay. that's not working. Okay. But you did say on the show, I shouldn't have hit the button. So you do feel that you shouldn't have used the Uber, ultimately. Huh? Yeah, I regret using it. I thought we was best friends. That needed to happen, because I got to see who the she was as a person. So it's like, I'm mad at me for using the Uber, but then I got to see how she gave it up. It's no way. We 
don't cry together, we don't fought together. Like, you go do me like that? I wish we could resolve more. Unfortunately, Kay has left, so maybe we can try to talk to her and get this to happen. But for now, thank you, Paris, thank for you. sharing your side of the story. And maybe we can get Kimberly to join us later in the show. Kay, you're very passionate about singers. Mm -hmm. And I know you say that sometimes you think people do this as a gimmick. Do you feel mm -hmm. that way about Moniz? You know, when Moniz teamed up, with April, I felt like it was a gimmick. That's my only thing with Moniz. I don't think that she's not talented. I don't think that she doesn't want it. I just feel like a lot of stuff comes into play that allows her to get off focus for it. I think you made a statement that said Moniz and April going on tour together would be a step behind for the culture. Why did you feel like that? I just felt like they were playing and like playing with the craft. I feel like if those two went out together, it, was, it wasn't sincere. Okay. It, at least not, I don't know, I don't think it was sincere, sincere from either parties. Me and Moniece, again, like we've told people, we never have had any issues like that until the whole internet stuff with her saying that I could for whatever reason she felt like she needed to do that. Outside of that, we never have had no problems. So when she asked me that, yeah, it threw me for a loop. Mm -hmm. But okay. gimmicky or not, like I, it was something that I felt like and I went back to her, I, don't, I didn't want to do. But if we're saying like, okay, let's just let it go, you want to sing, I want to sing, she's pretty, I'm pretty, our, our BDs were on the road, but we could definitely ride the coattail and get money. All right, so Kimberly, do you feel like Britney has enough credibility to speak on other people's talents? Absolutely not. I, I thought, especially that you guys, you and Britney were friends. Is there... No, is, we're not friends like that. Yeah, not, we we're, went to the we're, movies we're one time. Like, yeah. when I started filming, and it was like, Oh, we're the best friends. Oh, I learned from you. You didn't learn anything from me. She was like, you don't know her from a music background or that's how you guys know, know each other? Or... She said she worked with me. She came in the studio for like 30 minutes. I had already a Girl. session with Bongo going on. What did you write? What she did you came work in the studio on? late, actually. She came out. It's came my later. studio session and we was yeah. filming that night, bitch. She's saying I ain't she never you worked with you. I won't be it's... lying like that, my I ain't I've never... with you. <laughs> it's all good. Do your thing up there in your cubby. I mean, home, look, home, leave home. it to can't She's nobody's nobody. friend, so it is what it is. Okay, Brittany, let me ask you this. All right. There have been allegations that mm -hmm. you have left your resume. You can you can actually Google and look at anybody can every put song something on a resume in the written. music business. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So I don't have to fluff up my credits. Um, I worked really hard to get where I'm at. <laughs> Welcome back to Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, the reunion. Now, Kimberly had her transition from R&B to country music all mapped out, but the journey down the Old Town Road turned out to be bumpier than she expected. Let's take a look at her struggle to go from love and hip hop to love and hee haw. I'm a black girl that sings better than any white country singer in Nashville right now. I am a country girl from Memphis, Tennessee, who been yodeling before this was cool. He went to Nashville and told the people, told all these white people can't sing better than this black girl. <laughs> I said, I want to sing. The man that was running the music said, well, this is not the night. This country music tonight. We need to figure out where I'm going to record this album. The people that make things happen are in Nashville, Tennessee. I've never had the music industry politics on lock. We want to be honest with you that, like, you, it's two strikes against you. You're woman and you're black. remote. Okay, so what's the update with the country career? I'll be in Atlanta and Nashville to do what God put me here to do, and I feel like that is, to yodel and sing some songs. I was on the doctor going to the surgery. That's what she gonna do. He cut my ass so pretty. Right. Cut my yeah. ass. I know that you went to Nashville. You had this moment where you said, basically, you could sing all these white people <laughs> under the table. Is there kind of a bit of a backlash to that response? I don't give a sh she said, don't play with my yoga. Come on, okay? <laughs> Nashville. I said what I said, man. And one thing I love about country, once you get in country, you'll never need a job. Six surgeries. She no one will be back up right now. We have the conversation with Yo-Yo about ageism kind of in R&B and hip-hop. Kay, do you agree that there is not as much longevity in, in R&B and hip-hop? Hip-hop, yeah. Because these people be mumbling on balls nowadays. <laughs> It is a big difference. I mean, first of all, the respect level is different. Yeah. It's almost like hip-hop don't give the platform to yeah. those who, 
have come before them. In R&B, I sing Can't Raise a Man. I could sing that the rest of my life. And I do believe that R&B is something that you will always be able to do if you're good at it and if people believe you and it's authentic. Yes, yes. I so, agree. A1, let me, let me come to you. Do you think that there can be some good mixing from going from R&B to country? Only if she, you know, go through me. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only way it's gonna work. I'm not gonna take A1 gift from him. But I'm talking about on some country. I'm not doing it with you, friend. It ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We're moving on. Hey, yo, it's Safari. Listen, thanks for watching. And you are now tuned in with the brand new Love & Hip Hop YouTube, all right? Subscribe. Click it. There's a button right there. Hit it right there. And subscribe, all right? Cheer it!